Artemis will put the first woman and person of color on the moon. And it's, to me, uh, very special to be a part of that because we actually get to represent humanity. Unbelievably excited about Monday and our first launch, right? We've been working on this a long time, so to actually see it happening, um, yeah, now it's starting to get real. Sleep is a little harder now because it's getting exciting. That's the best part of the job is when you actually get to see it fly. can talk in big terms about how this benefits humanity, but we really get everyone to see themselves involved in it. You get to see that representation. So being a part of doing something positive for the world and for all of us is, is really one of the most incredible parts about this program. I love sort of anything, space, aviation, exploration. But yeah, being an astronaut, being a part of human space exploration was always a goal. The fact that I could actually do it straight out of college. So as a 22 year old, um, started working on the space station, right? That it's just incredible that you can actually become a part of this just right out of an undergraduate degree um, as an engineer. thousands of people that were needed to be a part of building Artemis, building Orion, building the space launch system, the rocket. And that takes all different kinds of skill sets, communication, creativity, you know, people doing trajectories, people good at thermal systems. There's way more skill sets and opportunities. And so it's the best advice is, you know, take what you're good at and you apply it to this activity. Not that you need to be a certain kind of person to succeed.